What is up, my riders? I kind of want to show you guys just a little bit of a tour of what I've been doing. Every single uh, tattoo that I've been working on. I know I did one video, but um, I kind of get into a very deep, concentrated mode now. And it's kind of evolving to the point that I'm so concentrated I forget to even pull out the camera and record. But I do want to show you guys, first and foremost, the ones that have been the single most hard tattoo to get to stay mostly just because it is very very hard to get the needle deep enough without aggravating and making the skin swell almost instantaneously so we have my little scorpio sign if you missed the older video this is just going to be an update on the hand ones then we have fast forward stop play Rewind. And then I just threw a bunch of random ones across uh, tribal design. And two lines right here. These aren't going to stay. I know for a fact they aren't because uh, when I, I tattooed them, they, they very much so did not feel like they, they went deep enough because you guys can see this already. I hit both of these twice and they're still not taking completely. So I'm going to have to go extra deep. When these heal up, I'm just gonna let them fully heal up. Well, we have to go over every single one of these. This one took a little bit better. Semicolon starting to fade and come out already. I knew when I did this years and years ago, the crown, how like bad it faded, but I don't remember having this much trouble getting the needle depth. I'm using the same needle depth as the legs. And these are completely different. These are somehow just managing not to get deep enough at all. But now I'm going to talk about in order and show you guys just on screen because it's a lot easier to do that are some of my learning processes and then some of the tattoos that I'm proud of. So first and foremost, I'll just start from the bottom, the overlay. Um, I have one that says Amen. That's a freehand one. I really am proud of how that came out because it's a first freehand word uh, tattoo that I actually kept. I have ones on my legs that I actually covered up and I'll get into that a little bit later. Then we have one that says love with a uh, semicolon. That one took very well. Uh, we have these mountains. That was another freehand. Really like that design. I did um, a YouTube play button because of how dedicated I am to YouTube. You guys know I've been doing it for almost five years now. Uh, the cross, everything came out good, but the shading, there's some spots that just didn't go just quite deep enough but most of the shading actually took very very well that same with the xcv which is just um roman numerals of when i was born then we have casey izzy those both seem to be plenty deep and uh, plenty thick enough after going over them that i won't need to redo those same with casey's outline that's just like an outline of casey that i drew up I'm trying to get it perfect of her ears. People do that like outline. I guess that's like a popular thing now. Wanted to try that out because I knew that was probably going to be something that maybe a lot of people would want. Then I just did the be happy. I didn't even finish stress less. I just did the be happy because up top here it kind of started to hurt more. And then I did the vines just practicing some basic like standard tattoos that you get uh, wanting constantly. So I just tried to brush up on some of popular designs in that way I could uh, get my uh, lining practice in as well because the vine is a very heavy heavy uh, focus on like line work for the vine and then going into my leg I, I did one that said something like um, stand tall or whatever but my free hand I just absolutely hated it especially um, realizing that the positioning of my leg when it's lower is so much harder to get accurate because I'm doing it myself. So you have to deal with the pain when you're tattooing yourself, but you also have to focus on the tattoo. So you kind of get the shake sometimes and you get like adrenaline rush. It's hard to do both at once, but I ended up covering that up with a, a really neat thing. Uh, you see in anime a lot. I, I think it correlates somehow. I've read before that it like in Japan culture, it means that you like went to prison or something. It's different in America, obviously a lot of people have like those type of tattoos including my cousin um, but I did like a halfway wrap around of this ring uh, then went up and did another one 
of a, a word design and it. it just turned out terrible so I, I decided to do an even bigger wider line which actually kind of ended up looking really cool from the front I'll, sh I'll include a picture of it um, from the front I have a lot more shading to do with it but um, you should be able to tell in the video how swollen it still is three days later so much shading in such a big area and such an inner area just made it like swell a lot and I'm gonna have to just come back to it once it's like the swelling goes down and just touch up the little areas that I missed but it's it's very very tender and swollen so that's kind of why I stopped it's nowhere near done it has to get touched up and I have to um, measure points to make sure that it's even thickness all the way through so that it's actually an even tattoo that's how I check I'll do um, every couple centimeters i'll just keep measuring out to make sure that it's even and if it's not i bring the line out more to just make it a little bit wider and then lastly today i just took a, a chill pill i took a deep breath uh, i put as much focus and time into this because i really wanted it to look good because it was on my lower half of my leg and this is like what shows when i'm going to the gym or when i'm in public, uh, most of the upper thigh ones are practice that are gonna be hidden because if I even I wear shorts as a male, it goes down to like my knee area. But this one I really was focused on and driven to make look really good. If you guys didn't know about the anime, I'll put it briefly on screen here, but um, it's called Demon Slayer and I've been watching it on and off for a while now. It's like the first anime that I like watched myself and the first anime that I really got into it and I really liked just the whole action, but the message and everything behind it. I don't know, it's very motivational for me with watching those type of animes where they're constantly trying to get better and uh, stronger. And it's like th that mentality I try to adopt into my my own life. So I did a Tanjiro eye tattoo. I took a bunch of sketches offline um, including a couple that people actually did on tattoos, kind of gathered that in, traced one that I liked the most, kind of threw my own spin on it with a little bit of different shading and little highlights here and there. And then I looked up quotes that Tanjiro said in the anime and just found one that really resonated with me. And it was, you have to go on no matter what. I had a good meaning behind it, so I wrote the letters underneath and it just, goes together so that's my most favorite one so far and I feel like that one is the most that I've been proud of other than all the ones that I've talked about and showed you guys um the last one this one's kind of I'm proud of too is just a, a little cross right here I actually did in the mirror so um yeah me doing this took a lot of focus and effort to, to face a mirror in front of me and actually get it so that it resembled a cross. Even, even it not being like perfectly, perfectly center on my neck, it is kind of pretty, pretty good for, because when you turn, usually uh, tattoos kind of shift when you turn. For the most part is pretty center. There, it goes a little off axis. But let me know what you guys think down below. And if you guys want to see more of like in action ones where I actually do them, it include just like a time lapse. I don't know if that's like that much more interesting doing the time lapse or not because you're not really seeing anything that goes into it. I mean, I could just repeat myself every video and be like, this is what you do to get ready with the stencil and the setting up of the machine and everything. But just let me know what you guys wanna see in the comments down below and I'll keep uploading stuff. I've been struggling with content recently. Everyone's been saying we wanna update or we wanna see more tattoo related stuff. So I figured I would uh, upload this as kind of like an update and everything like that. So I love you guys. Make sure to be happy, stress less. I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, 